Welcome, I'm David Geiger. A Senate committee met this week to talk about ways to help immigrant farm workers. At a Judiciary Committee hearing, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack spoke with senators arguing the immigration system is broken and in need of reform, saying the availability of H-2A visa workers are in question, wages fluctuate, there's a cumbersome process, and uneven worker protections. Ultimately, he wanted to testify before the full committee because farm workers are an important part of what makes American agriculture work. I'm here today simply to advocate on behalf of American agriculture and these workers to, to plead with the Senate uh, to fix this broken system, to maintain the capacity of this great food and agriculture industry to continue to provide the benefits that we all enjoy in this country, and at the same time to provide uh, the respect and dignity to the farm workers who are working so hard to make this system what it is today. In his weekly call, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley also spoke of the hearing, which he says was a way to talk about how to fix the farm worker immigration system. He was advocating for ways it can help the state. In Iowa, animal agriculture and agricultural processing is not a seasonal business like it is in lots of part of the countries. And I hear from farmers and businesses who just can't find people to work. Right now, it is easier to get seasonal workers, which is nice for states like California, which has labor-intensive fruit or vegetable harvest periods. But that doesn't work for a place like Iowa, which is looking for people to work at packing plants or with livestock year-round. An Iowan was also on the panel advocating for the pork industry, and Grassley said that testimony had a clear concluding thought. The H-2A program should promote access to a stable and legal workforce that recognizes the needs of a full egg industry. And grains have a bit of a setback. Our analyst Jamie Kwaki has more on the markets. Uh, so far here this week, uh, today we're seeing some back and fill. I uh, got weaker overnight, continuing here today in a day, ses day session. Really just not a whole lot of fresh news in the market, uh, just kind of beating it up every day with hot and dry conditions. And it just seems like we're just seeing some uh, profit taking off of that as the market has not continued to uh, surge on higher. But uh, I think the forecast still fundamentally uh, bullish, as uh, looks like for another week and a half at least of, of heat and dryness, but still longer term looking bullish uh, yet as the issues down in South America with their second corn crop to increase our exports and also to the Argentinian uh, bean number. Over to the meat sector, can't seem to really get our big seasonal sell off. Uh, and then uh, the market, uh, despite the market being two bucks lower in most places yesterday in the cash trade, it looks like we maybe have already built in our seasonal low. But to the bears are running out of time here in the cattle. And it looks like maybe another week or two is all they get because we're going to run into it. It looks like a lot tighter sp supplies uh, come this fall. Over to the hog sector, we're a buck, buck and a half lower. Uh, we got a big trading range just pretty much in all the contracts. Took out yesterday's highs. Now we're below yes yesterday's lows. So could see a key reversal there in some of the contracts. And you're just going to see some technical long liquidation as we have seen a nice little bounce here in the last two weeks. And that's all I have for the Anchor Business Report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. We have our stories online. Head over to who13.com, click news, and then agribusiness.